Hello everybody and welcome to Getting Wrecked. So today we are starting a new let's play and we are going to look at Bomber Crew made by Runner Duck. Um, and it's kind of a faster than light game so you take control of a bomber and its crew. It's kind of in the name during uh, World War 2 and you will try to keep them alive and uh, successfully do the missions. And they will gain experience and so on and so forth. I'm going to start a new game with again we'll write this one with the tutorial, so I have time to speak about or talk about uh, the mechanics. So this is our bomber and this is our crew. We only have four guys right now. And um, most of this game is controlled by the mouse, which is a bit limiting sometimes. We can zoom in into the bomber. We can zoom out and take a look. So we have our targets back here, which we will most likely be shooting at soon. One interesting thing is that we always end up on this side when we zoom in is a bit weird okay. so press space or middle mouse button to tag a target so right now we don't even have anyone we have one gunner up here but no one is actually in the uh, top gun or in the back gun but let's target these things so you will have to look at them for a while and then they will be tagged. And this gets pretty stressing or when um, uh, during uh, battle, I would say. So, since we only have one gunner in the front here, we can't really shoot at these guys. So, we can tell this gunner to go to top turret. So, this Lancaster has three different gun spots. Right now we only have one gunner. We will be able to recruit more. Now we have a better firing arc. And he will have to go to the back turret. Mr. Russell here. So, so different crews have different um, jobs. So, navigator will Give you waypoints and you need to focus on these to actually go there. I think if you level up your navigator you can set these nav points yourself to avoid uh, anti-aircraft guns and stuff. Right, we're going to return to base so most likely our navigator will give us some something new to look at. I actually got uh, some blips on the radar here so we got some action right off the bat, so we could tell our radar operator to... Maybe not. No, never mind. <laughs> I was... And spit fires to help us out as well. That's something that your radar operator can call in later on, I think. They can call in an escort if you need to. It's like uh, our gunner took care of those guys pretty easily. And now it says that we need to keep on marking these things. And that's interesting because, like I said, it's always a lot of stuff to do here. And since it's no voice acting or anything like that in this game, it's pretty difficult to know what's going on, I would say. You get these pop-ups, but they are so many and usually they everyone is talking at the same time. That's a lot of... So it's easy to miss a waypoint or miss a bombing target or something like that. Now all of these guns are as strong as each other, so it's not like we would need to go to certain positions get the most damage but you will be able to upgrade your 
aircraft, so now we are marking the landing pad, well, not landing pad, airstrip, I guess, and we need to lower the gear. Lower the gear will increase the drag, so we will use more fuel, so we don't want to go around with the gear like that. Here we have all the Spitfires. I don't know why um, they didn't paint the Lancaster's belly more like... I guess it's dark. Maybe it's supposed to be for night... Night raids? I guess so. So, not much we can do here really. We just have to wait until we land. That's the first mission. If we would raise our gear the pilot would have to do another run until we lower the gears um, something else is talked about, well everyone can be in any position here but of course the gunner is better at using the guns and the pilot is better at piloting and they also will get maneuvers and they will get skills according to their uh, position it does pay for itself to actually do the correct job with the right people. So we got some money that you can use to upgrade our aircraft or our crew. And then we got some experience as well, I think. I mean the gunner should get a lot of experience in my opinion, but okay, maybe not. So here we are at the airbase. And haven't even started the campaign. Because, well, this is the tutorial. We need to recruit some more people because we only have four. So we can see we have these three slots open. So we have two gunners and three engineers. And when we choose one of these guys, I think they will. Uh, we will get a new selection. So if. We get a good gunner or a good engineer, we want to just take that one and we will have a new chance for the next uh, position, I think. I'm not quite sure, but we'll see. So we can uh, go with this one, Valley. This is... Um, armor and speed, that's quite obvious. Thermal is if you are on high altitudes. You will get uh, cold and take damage from the cold. Oxygen, same thing. If you go on the highest altitude, you will not have uh, oxygen if you are not at the station. If you're at the station, you will have oxygen supplied to you. But uh, otherwise, if you are running around in the ship or if the oxygen system is broken, you will have no oxygen supplies. Survival is if you are forced to emergency land. This is her chance to survive on land and on water, I think. So I mean, I don't see a reason why we would get this guy, Wilbert Watt, instead of Sally since she has armor. <laughs> Catherine has a lot of armor, a lot of survivability, so she's the best choice of our engineers right now. Gunner seems pretty good. A lot of speed. Now, gunners, I would say, need armor because they are usually quite exposed. Speed is nice because they can run and grab more ammunition faster. So, I think that might be a good choice. At the same time, six armor is huge. I think I made four missions. Like, what do I know? And, I mean, gunners we will have two and a half of, so because the bomber is kind of a gunner as well um, so maybe getting an engineer that will not die if someone just looks at him might be a good idea mm. let's try it alright so we switch out the uh, engineers we still have these two guys so it didn't really matter well it matters because we got this guy as well which doesn't make any sense Let's just do go, go with this Herbert Wilson. He was pretty legit. Rock climber. 
Rocky mustache in his 20s, perfect. And then we need a bomber. Mm. Mm. Man, I really like the armor because mm. I don't want to lose my uh, bomber. Survival is like, well, who cares? If, if we are emergency landing, isn't it better to get the armor so we might survive it? Survive the mission instead of going for trying to have uh, our crew survive emergency landing. And I, that's my thought process at least. Let's take a look at the gear. We have our old dudes and we have the new three guys here. So Vega, you can give her a flight suit want to. It will cost some money, it will increase the survival rate. Like I said before, it might not be that necessary and it's always fun to have them run around in their civil clothes. However, helmet, sure. Uh, oxygen, we don't have enough research. We have different types of resources here. We have research and money. I think research, don't spend the research, it's just a level so if you get to 500 research everything that costs 500 will be unlocked i think so. i think that the flag quest is pretty good so let's equip to all and let's get the helmet so that costs us quite a lot but uh, i think it's worth it don't really have any training we can do right now since everyone is level 1, but later on you will unlock more skills. You will also get the secondary class seven points. The pilot will get a new class, I think, at level 7. So, some of them have it earlier, like the bomber, I think, will unlock gunner pretty early. Because, well, they will be doing a lot of gunning. And here is our boomerang bus. You can rename it and stuff like that. I guess we could do that. I don't really know any famous um, bombers. Memphis Bell, I guess. Uh, let's just call it something. Um, and then we have the upgrades and we have the sign here. So we can go in and do some designing. Now since I bought this on the launch week, we have these DLC paints. Ah, it's golden. <laughs> so, I don't really like them that much. Um, I guess the Dark Knight Black is pretty cool. Otherwise, they are a little bit too over the top, in my opinion. Let's stick with classic camo. And we can choose a new nose art, or we can make our own. So I've made Arkanoid icon here. Hmm. Flames on the Indians. So, yeah. You can customize these if you want to, and you get into um, a pixel editor. I think that looks pretty nice, and then we can also add some, some text here if you want to. On the side, I don't think that's really necessary. That, is, that looks cool. So, if you don't uh, recognize this, which I guess you wouldn't. It's it says danger, and this is usually on uh, Swedish aircrafts and near air intakes and stuff. So you don't go and stick your head in the air intake. But they put this danger sign there. Um, yeah. Oh, and then we have the upgrades we can do. So upgrading this. Aircraft will cost us weight and also what money. We will also need the research. Could get the ventral turret or belly turret here. Well, if we had the money, I guess. 
because this is a blind spot and I think that's actually a known a factor with the Lancaster that it had this weak spot down here until they installed a turret down there as well well I guess it's still a weak spot but not as weak as you can see we don't have the research truck or anything else which makes sense since we're still in the tutorial so it would be kind of strange um, you could have fire extinguish extinguisher later on on the engines after the radar um, and then we have these equipment slots so in the back we have med kit and then we have a uh, fire extinguisher here and then we have no slots here so we could pay money to install equipment here we could add uh, like parachute or something in the front and then we can also upgrade to armor fuselages that will increase the weight and we have a limit of 2000 um, I wonder oh, we can't see engines but if we upgrade the engines we will be able to carry more into the air so let's go to the next uh, mission try right, to wrap this tutorial up so now it's a bombing practice so this will show us uh, how much intel we will get and how much money we will get so getting uh, back safely is a good idea and this time we actually start on the ground that's cool so we will have to select a pilot I have not to have to wait for him to say that so take off and uh, we want to go over here I guess so as you can see now we have people in every slot but well if you had that uh, ventral turret no one would be there we will also not have uh, as they say here landing gear will expose them and also be less fuel efficient and now we have bombing target and we will need to select our bomber and tell him to go down into the turret and this is one of mine and we will see target down here so we can select one bomb or all if you want to and then we will release it here I'll sh show if we are going to bomb more than just one target lowering the bomb base will also increase how much fuel we are using I think close the door here and we're going to photograph activity in the sea and that's something the bomber does as well now if you fly high with a pilot that's locked okay uh, you will not be able to see that this well so the photographs would be worse but now we are flying really low so we have 100% photographs Oh, we have two things we can photograph here. I guess we will only have to take one photo. So I, I said this before, and I'm going to say this more and more times. But the user interface of this game is pretty bad. Let's see if this comes here. The fact that I will have to click on things with the mouse is quite bad. Oh, we should be able to go back now. I guess. I tell the bomber to take the gun in position. I mean, I will have to do this at the same time that I'm saying, oh, my bomber, I need to select that bomber here and I will have to put it here. Maybe there are hotkeys. I don't know. Yeah, we can select with uh, the num keys, but still. It's really difficult to click here. Because, so what's happening is sometimes like let's say that we are fighting uh, some uh, Messerschmitts and uh, Wilson is running out of ammo I could send someone else to pick up the ammo and go to him however if I accidentally click on him and not on the turret let's see if I can show this well, if I tell this guy to go and grab some ammo 
But first and foremost, he will go back automatically here, I think. But if we, I guess, maybe just do this locked. Oh! Drolic is broken, so we send the engineer to fix that. Because we can't uh, lower the landing gear without our hydraulics, and we can't even use the guns, so. The repair is pretty slow as well, like, and this is with, with the engineer. I don't want to know how long it would take if we would be using uh, someone else. I guess he's level 1 engineer, so maybe he's pretty bad. And it's really, like, the control system my biggest uh, problem with this game, because... Now, let's show you this. So, if I pick up an ammo here, if I click on this turret, he will, he will go and give him ammo. But if I click on this guy, I will select that guy. And during this kind of micro usage with your... Uh, Like right click is deselect, I think. That's really weird that uh, select and uh, select and action is on the same button on the mouse. That's pretty weird. Because I will do that mistake so many times. But we are we are home. Please don't crash. Easy. I don't know if you get any intel from that uh, photo session. It's not. That's that's fine. You got some money. Yes? No? Are these two guys, uh, oh, there we go, some experience. Are these guys uh, relative to each other? Wilson? Wilson brothers? Right, so that's the tutorial. I think we will do one ordinary mission and see if we survive. Let's go and take a look at the crew gear. Well, I guess we won't really have anything since we didn't get any technology so we can't really give them something upgrade wise however we could um, put in this belly turret let's just do it the more guns the better so now we can choose between three different missions um, battery ammo dumps Search and rescue. Hit fire pilots run in over the channel. Alright, so we have to rescue someone. Getting some intel. Yeah. So we have two bomb targets and we have one secure someone target. Um this one will lower the enemy damage to mission. Seems pretty good. But if I think we will get these missions. Um, if we do this mission, we will still have the two other missions to do. So I don't think we would should really get that uh, this buff for these two missions because they seem to be low risk. That's why they're green on the map. Let's do an easy one and uh, try to rescue this dude. By giving him some survival gear. Now, in my experience, the low threat missions are not that low threat, <laughs> in my opinion, but. That, raise the gear, air bumps. Now, the engineer at his station 
he can transfer fuel. And he says that we need to drop the supply from low altitude. We could send our engineer down to this turret if we want to. I don't think it does anything special right now. Anyways. We could tell our pilot to go medium altitude or high altitude. So high altitude would be super cold and you will have no oxygen. Uh, medium you will have oxygen but it will be semi cold. The benefit is the fact that you will not be targeted by anti-aircraft fire as easily. Especially not on high altitude. You will also have less sight so your navigator will be complaining so you might uh, <laughs> go to the wrong direction um, you can actually look at the map here now there's a lot of things in this game that feels like the old B-17 Flying Fortress game from Microprose now B-17 have a much larger crew I think because of all the guns but from what I know, the Lancaster actually is actually pretty good. Um, I think it's much newer as well than. Alright, there we go, we have our target. Let's go sell our bomber, food to get down here, open doors, collect supplies. We have some fighters incoming. Oh, what the heck happened? Alright, we will have to do another go here. I guess I clicked uh, the wrong button because I uh, lost my bomber. Um, let's tell them to go back. Look at all these uh, like there is a little bit too much to do sometimes. And someone is running low on ammo. Like yeah, like that. If I right tick, which I do in order to close doors. Let's get you into that turret. Let's select our. Can we tag some more? We have some people to shoot at. Let's see if we can. Uh... Uh, oh boy, these uh, hotkeys. Let's sell this guy to go grab some ammo. This guy to get some ammo. Like that, dude. Okay, that guy is already tied. I have some problems here, I'm not going to lie. Um, where the heck is my engineer? There he is. And, um, you will have to help Russell. Man, this controls. Are you rescuing him or are you just looking? Oh, there we go. Grab some ammo for you. And let's get you down into the gully turret. Let's navigate back there. Like, like I said, there is a lot of things to do here. Um, yeah. Russell, grab this turret. You will need to go up here. You don't have any hydraulics, uh, so tag these guys. Might not really do a whole lot. 
until our engineer has been able to repair it. We have a auto possibility as well. Okay, now they can shoot again, so let's go and grab some ammo for this dude. So let's try to click on the turret and not on the person. Thank you. Right. Looking good. Um, then we need our this dude. Take photo. Thank you. Go into the turret. Clear the area of enemies. Well, we are kind of doing that, I think. Want to go back there? I don't know. Can you guys start shooting? Well, I guess you're shooting, but you're not really killing anything. And then we have two more untagged. saying it is not repaired. Not quite sure. They're talking so very much, but uh, I don't know what they're saying because I don't have time to... And our gunners are slacking. It's only this guy left. New course plotted. That guy uh, invulnerable or what's the deal? This guy's very far away. Clear the area of enemies. Mark the new heading. I think we're done. Somehow we survived. Now, we can tell the engineer to go out here and, well, maybe we should go and take a look at the fuel supply first. We are using up fuel very fast. I think it's because we have our engines. Can you repair this thing? I don't even know what it does, but let's repair it. Our poor... <laughs> our poor uh, engineer is out in the wing repairing the engines. Things you do for love. Or I like the fact that they are giving me the tip that I can send injured crew members to the med bay all the time. I mean, this engineer. Maybe the engines are pretty difficult to repair. But, uh, I mean, uh, this gunner dude, he repaired the electric systems pretty fast. I don't think sending the engineer to his engineering station will lower the uh, fuel costs. I'm hoping that uh, running around with war engines will help at least. I don't really want to land with him while he's on this wing, on this wing, so... Let's see if we can get him inside. Alright, 
I think it's safe. We're trying landing approach. Gear must be lowered. Well, screw you. You remaining four minutes. Well, that's that's fine. Can even raise the gear, I guess. This yeah, it gave us a. We can see the usage rate here. It's not that bad actually. So the fact that it was in the top was just because we had two engines instead of four. I will notice that um, when you retry your landing, they usually go very far away before coming back. So yeah, that was a low risk mission and we got shot to pieces. So I don't know. So is the fact that they will attack you at the same time as you try to take photos, photos of bombs or anything like that. And the fact that it's so easy to deselect something. Because if you want to look around, you have to right click, but right click is also deselect. That's pretty weird, but we survived. Mission success. This should give us next tier of tech. Need level ups. Yeah, we, our pilot learned emergency dive, which I think can put out fires. I don't know if it will lose fighters or something. I don't think so. I think it's mostly for. Removing engine fire boost. I think we will get go faster, but use more fuel. These other dudes are level two, but no new skills. Well, I guess we can see it there. I think we should also see, yeah, our research unlocks. So there are some good things here. I think like the woolen gloves gives a lot of. Uh, thermal protection so we will most likely give people that thing but anyways thank you guys for watching this episode we will continue in the next one and do some real bombing missions but uh, yeah i think it was very close that we got back from that mission so we'll see how it goes anyways thank you guys for watching and see you next time goodbye